David, I'm really excited because Live Your Happy, Get Out of Your Own Way and Find the Love Within will be out in April, April 22nd, published by New World Library. And I'm really excited about this book because it's all based on The Course in Miracles. Um, but it's not so heady. It's not so intellectual. It really brings, that's why it's called Live Your Happy because it's really Live A Course in Miracles. Mm -hmm. But I just say Live Your Happy. It's really bringing um, the experience of the Course into your life experience so that you can live in happiness. Um, one of the chapters that kind of I was thinking about you in my mind because you are just so good at really letting go of the ego mind and fear. Um, one of the chapters is called um, you are fearless, which is towards the end. It's one of the end chapters. And I wanted to ask you how being fearless and happiness relates. Well, happiness is a state of mind that's very natural and fear is very unnatural. Happiness is given from our creator. It comes from our source. And, and we could say fear is learned. So all fear is learned. And therefore, if it's been learned, it's a good thing that it could be unlearned. And so we need to be fearless, as your chapter states, to be happy, authentically happy. Because this happiness is not a happiness that's the superficial happiness that comes from, oh, I got, I got what I wanted in the world or I attained this worldly goal or whatever. Because I think everybody can relate to those kind of happiness feelings are very temporary. They, they're very circumstance dependent. And they go away when the circumstance changes. And true happiness, happiness that comes from God, is, is there in our hearts. It just lives forever and ever and ever. It's beyond time and space, even. So I think one of the things that for me was one of the first recognitions was I thought I was afraid of so many things in the world. And we're not really ac accustomed to the idea that, that we're afraid of our mind's power that we're afraid of our magnificence, uh, or even that we're afraid of love. Uh, some people s will talk about it in relationships like a fear of intimacy, but it's not really a fear of sexual intimacy. It's a fear of, of dropping the mask, dropping the mask of our personalities and, and being totally absorbed by this wonderful experience of, of God-given love that we were created as, just perfect and innocent and free. So that's a big one, and I think that's what's so great about your book, is it's, it's saying, let's look at this in a practical way, and let's give a lot of examples of how I thought it was this, but it wasn't what I thought it was, and thank God it wasn't, because there was a, a miracle that came to take the place. Yeah, and what I love ab about the tone of the book is that it, it could be playful. You know, yeah. it's, it could be playful, um, it doesn't have to be so heavy. It doesn't have to be so dense. We can look at it and, um, and bask in the joy and be a happy learner, right? Yeah. Um, in regards to what do you think is a good tool, practical tool, um, to let go of the fear voice in our mind, the ego? What's a practical tool for you at every moment to let go and be fearless and to let go of that thought of separation, that thought of of that, you know, that little self or that thought that separates you, that makes you fearful. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's, it's important to have that point to just stop for a moment or, or as our friend uh, Mary Lenahan in St. Louis says, pause. pause yeah. That pause is really important because instead of just rushing away with thoughts and, and a justifying something or having a case built up, that pause sends us in another direction. And you might say it's, uh, hmm, maybe I could see this differently, pause. It's like there's, there's a moment of sanity that's there to say, I don't have to continue to look at it the way I did before. I don't have to cling to the past. I can be very f open and let's, let me be spontaneous and fresh. And that really makes way for the fearlessness, mm -hmm. which is always there. It's very strong, our, our spiritual presence inside. As long as we take that pause, that stop, and, and don't keep going down the line of thinking somehow that we have to justify it or even that the fear is real and we have to start, try to work our way or analyze our way out of it, that's not going to work. Yeah, I feel that what's coming up for me as you're sharing is um, awareness, you know, um, awareness, discernment of being an observer yeah. and watching your mind and where your thoughts are going. And what I share in my book is, um, how are you feeling? You know, what 
your gauges, how you're feeling, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling like a sense of, of uh, discomfort, of anxiety, you, you know that your thoughts are being aligned to untruth. And then when you feel peaceful, that's why you want to take the pause. So you come back to that peace because you're not there, yeah. you know. So I feel that it's that's what I love about live. You're happy because it came from a space of I suffer so much because I didn't understand the way my mind worked. Mm -hmm. Like my mind literally has had its way with me. Yes. <laughs> I actually felt violated for a <laughs> long time, <laughs> you know, had its way with me because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So in live, you're happy. What I do is I really help people to really understand at a maximum capacity of of their mind that were run by two thought systems fear and love and you need to really not need to but it'd be helpful for you to understand the way it works so you can discern and choose spirit again and again and choose spirit again and choose spirit again but many people don't even know they're just transed out on automatic pilot living every day, waking up, having their coffee, checking Facebook, you know, la 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 la, and kind of just living these trans out lives and not understanding that they're the creators of their experience moment to moment and they can create such a beautiful experience with Holy Spirit, remembering truth again and remembering truth again. So, yeah. yeah. And I love how that's how the Spirit gets our attention is through something that's that's simple or direct or practical or has an example that we can relate to, that we individually relate to and uh, I know besides uh, Gary's comments on on the book and mine that Jerry Jampolsky came out years ago with this book love is letting go of fear and if you saw yes I, when that first came out I said it was little caricatures and pulling up an anchor uh, and these characters becoming happy and it's it had little illustrations and again it was the same method that the spirit uses is reach people in in cartoons and caricatures and give them some real basic ideas like there's there's two kind of voices in our mind or two forces love and fear mm -hmm. and we can learn to choose the love it's actually available we always have a choice and i think live your happy is really destined to go down that same way as it's destined to reach an audience of, and show that there is a, another way, which is what started A Course in Miracles of uh, Helen and Bill saying there must be a better way. It's, this time it's Maria Felipe <laughs> saying there must be a better way <laughs> and I'm not going to hold on to this caca <laughs> way of thinking and, and, and using coming through in a way that people can relate to with lots of humor as well. Lots of humor <laughs> and playful. And yes. I, I just love how you already know like the Maria language in the book because, <laughs> right. because I, I do, I call the eagle thoughts caca mm -hmm. and I call those false thoughts cuckoo, you know, yeah. the cuckoo, cuckoo yeah. mind. Yeah. Um, and I love how my publisher New World was so generous and allowed me to use and just keep those Maria-isms in there yeah. because it makes it so light and so playful and it's so funny you talking about jerry jampolsky because he his book actually patrick um when he did my book proposal he he used jerry's book as an example of what my book would be like yes. like similar yes. um in in also length because i think it's mine is about 130 146 pages it's a short book um because i wanted it just to be practical i didn't want you know a big heavy yeah. book i just wanted something very simple and jerry and i both suffer from dyslexia and we don't like to write often and we don't like to read either so we're like you know what spirit's gonna use this but you know what let me just give you 146 <laughs> pages or 150 <laughs> pages and and we're done yeah you know let's just make it easy yeah, yeah. so um it's so funny you bring him up because yeah. he he also is kind of relates to me in my, in my in my journey of writing a book because i know patrick told me that he also struggled with with writing a book as well and it turns out that he gave me a wonderful endorsement as well yes. and as well as yourself and, and gary renard and um a, a, lots of other people have given yeah. me beautiful um endorsements so so thank you i feel that this is going to be really helpful to the course community um the course course students and teachers but not only that it's going this book i always say is not my book it's not my book yeah. i mean the book came from me drinking pinot noir and putting a post yeah. on facebook so yeah. this is not my book yeah. um and i feel it's going to be so helpful for even not people that are not course students to 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 really come back to their happy place yeah. because god's will for us is happiness he says that over and over in the course of miracles so i feel you don't have to be a course of miracles student to even understand this book because it doesn't it speaks to at a whole nother level to all walks of life mm -hmm. yeah. um the first chapter so I think I can't remember exactly the way the title goes because I'm so in a touch to the book. I don't even remember some of my chapter titles, yeah. but the first one says something like you're not you're not sinful. You're not going to hell. Yeah. You know, that's huge. People yeah. hear that. 
Yeah. You're not sinful. You're not going to hell. I mean, that's going to get their attention. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> so I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It takes something like that's part of uh, of the way Spirit uses things. Like I think I have a YouTube video that says something like Jesus did not suffer. Uh, you know, something like along those lines. That grabs your attention because it's so contradictory to the programming. And we're here to find our joy and live our happy. So, yeah, I hope you get a chance to check out Maria's new book. Check out that chapter, too. <laughs> Fearlessness and, and yeah. happiness go together. Yes. Thank you, David. Thank, Thank you, you for your work and for your love. It's a collaborative effort. We're here to um, raise consciousness together and live in our happy. Yes. Right? Indeed. Indeed.